Hi friends, it's Rosie from I Heart Recipes, and in this video I'm making a delicious homemade red velvet cake. I'm going to decorate the cake with delicious rose swirls made out of cream cheese frosting, and I'm collaborating with one of my favorite YouTube channels, At Home with Nikki. She does everything from interior decorating to cooking, and she'll be making red velvet waffles. At the end of this video, I will leave a link to her video. So first things first, you're going to need some all-purpose flour. Pour your all-purpose flour into a large mixing bowl and now we're going to sprinkle in some baking soda along with some table salt. And our last dry ingredient will be unsweetened baking cocoa. Sprinkle that in there. Now we're going to grab a whisk and we're going to whisk everything until it's well combined and until there are no lumps. In a separate bowl, we're going to work with our wet ingredients. You're going to need two large eggs. By the way, all of my ingredients are at room temperature. I am going to beat the eggs. And now I'm ready to start pouring in my sugar. You're going to need lots of sugar for this recipe, so do not be alarmed. And now we're going to pour in some vegetable oil. Followed by the vegetable oil, you'll need some buttermilk. And someone's going to ask me, can I use regular milk? I highly suggest sticking to the recipe for best results so that's the answer please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thank you in advance and we are just going to mix everything until it's nice and creamy and at this time I remembered that I almost forgot to add vanilla extract so I'm going to do that now so now we're just going to mix until everything's well combined and now we're ready to go ahead and start combining the wet ingredients with the dry. So we're going to add a little bit of the wet ingredients into the bowl with the dry ingredients at a time. Don't forget, if you want the exact measurements for this cake and for the frosting that we'll be using, you can find it on my blog, iHeartRecipes.com. When I used my mixer, my handheld mixer, I did have it on a low speed. And I don't want to over mix my batter, so I did uh, change out the mixer for a spatula. So just now I added my white distilled vinegar and now I'm going to start adding a full ounce of red food coloring. So now I'm just going to fold the coloring in and you want to be careful again not to over mix. So just fold the ingredients until everything is nice and red and there are no streaks and be sure to get the edges of the bowl. So once your cake batter is done, we're ready to start placing them into or pouring it into our bake dish. I'm using a baking spray. If you don't have a baking spray, which is not the same as nonstick spray, you will need to grease and flour your cake pans. And I'm using two nine inch cake pans. So we're going to start pouring in our cake batter and you want to pour an equal amount of cake batter into each uh, cake dish. Once I have my uh, batter in there, I'm just going to start shaking the cake dishes and tapping them a little bit to release any air bubbles or air pockets that may be in the batter. And then I just let them sit for about five minutes. So now we're going to bake our cakes. You need to bake them in the oven on 325 Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes or until done. And once they're done, I just remove them from the cake pans and I'm going to let them cool completely on a cooling rack. So I'm going to be using my cream cheese frosting that I use all the time on this channel. Um, it's the same recipe that I've shared plenty of times. If you want the exact measurements, you can visit my blog. Again, it's iHeartRecipes.com. And I'm just going to start frosting my cake. So I frost the top of one cake and now I place the other cake on top and now I'm just going to get the sides. I'm not really worried about if my cake is pretty at this point simply because remember we will be doing or decorating the cake with rose swirls. For my rose swirls, I'm going to be using a Wilton tip. It's a number one, and I'm just going to press and swirl. It's really easy to do, and if you've been watching me for quite some time, you probably remember that I decorated my vanilla rose swirl cake the same way. However, that cake had buttercream instead of this frosting, and it was a lot easier to work with buttercream than cream cheese. I will admit that. But that's it. It's really easy to make and as you see I did not use a ton of ingredients for this cake and it always comes out so moist. As long as you do not over mix or over fold your cake batter, your cake will be the bomb. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Now that you watch how I made my red velvet cake, 
Let's head over to At Home with Nikki so we can see exactly how she made these delicious, amazing looking waffles. And while we're at her channel, please be sure to subscribe to her as well and check out many more of her videos.